This convertible may wear a mass market badge, but it's actually designed and built by legendary Italian styling house Bertoni. With four proper seats, there's plenty of space and a choice of four engines, from insurance friendly 1.6 to a 200 brake horsepower 2 litre turbo. But let's find out what Sherry thinks of Vauxhall's Astra Cabriolet. Well, Sherry, what do you think of the looks of the Astra Convertible? I think they've done a good job in the styling department with this. Yeah, I was really surprised. Yeah? Usually the Astra's a bit boxy, you know, a bit mundane. But with the, with, with the roof down, it's really nice. And we've managed to get the roof down, even on a day like this, not a <laughs> yeah. perfect day. We're all wrapped up inside. We've got the heated seats on. We've got the heater on full blast. <laughs> the but heated it, seats are brilliant. It does a good job, though, doesn't it? You don't get much cold air into the cabin. No, the front bit feel quite secluded. I well, think probably back. if you were sat oh. in the back, which has got two decent seats, I think yeah. you'd probably feel it a little bit more, but um, it's quite snug in here. I mean, for your money, if you went for one of these, you get something that's well equipped, it's well built, yeah. it's comfortable as well, but yeah. it still drives pretty well. It's, it has a bit of a, a sporty feel to it too. Yeah. No, I do feel safe in it though. I don't find it so sporty, I must admit. And I, I mean, a lot of cabriolets and convertibles suffer from the scuttle shake you know because they've cut the top off and there's a bit of flex in the body but this feels this feels very very secure mm, mm, yeah i do feel really safe so if you went for this you turned up at the pub on a nice summer's <laughs> evening with all your friends sat outside and you turned up with the roof down do you think they'd be very very impressed yeah they'd probably think that was a right ponce but <laughs> you know <laughs> that's you the care. idea isn't that's it the idea. i don't care <laughs> The Astra convertible has been around since the mid-80s. This model was launched in 2001 and is built with its coupe sister in Italy by Bertoni. Available with four engines, 1.6, 1.8 and 2.2 litre petrol engines and a 200 brake horsepower 2 litre turbo that has since made its way into Vauxhall's very rapid VX220 sports car. So why should you buy an Astra convertible? Well, in my opinion, this has always been an underrated car and as a second-hand buy, it's an absolute bargain. For your 10 grand, you get something that's well-equipped, comfortable, roomy, and cheap to insure. Plus, you can get all your friends in there. It's a true four-seater to pose in in the summer with the roof down. The Astra's always been a sharp handler. Chopping the roof off hasn't affected that at all. And when you do finally get that nice day in the summer, you can use your key fob to electronically open and close the roof from a distance. Very clever. So what should you be paying for a Vauxhall Astra convertible? Prices start at around eight and a half grand for a 2001 1.8 litre model, rising to just under 14 grand for a 2002 52 plate 2.2 litre engine model. For her 10 grand, we think Sherry should be able to find a good 2001 1.8 litre car. Well, Sherry, you like the MG. Do you like the Vauxhall Astra convertible? I do. Do you? Yeah, I really do. I just, um don't find it as sporty though. No, it's not got that sort of raw sports car feel that you get with the MG. No, a little bit safer. Handles nice though. It does. Yeah. It does smooth. go well. It does very go well. Smooth. I mean, they do some great engines in this range as well, including a very powerful 2.2 turbo. So something like that would be mm. really quick on the road. But this is sort of more comfortable, a bit more refined. Yeah, 